Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is a gorgeous uh, chickering from, uh, from the 1890s, from the uh, late 1890s or so. Um, so, much, so much to say, so much to talk about this piano. It is, it's beautiful. I hope um, by pictures and from this video that you get a, get a good uh, um, feel for, for how this piano looks. This is an absolute showpiece of a piano, if this is your style. And it's, as, far as, as far as styling, um, it's pretty typical of, of high-end pianos of, uh, of its day. Yeah, look at those legs, those three legs, and, uh, and then of course the music, the music desk, and the lyre, the pedal lyre. And then another, another unique aspect of the, of the look of this piano is, is this rim here. Well, this, this of course is the, the lid that fits the rim, so let's go look at the actual rim itself. This is the, the European, the old European piano making um, technique for, for the rim. Got a picture of a lyre. So, so modern piano manufacturing, the way they do it is they just have really, really long strips of veneer and they'll put it, they'll, they'll wrap the entire veneer and the curve around a mold and it'll go all the way around. They'll have, you know, a bunch of layers of veneer and then when the glue dries, it's, they, they, they put the glue in between the veneer, put it, put, it, put them together, put them in the mold, and when the glue dries, it's just one solid piece of wood that goes around. But uh, in the older, the European way to do it was to have several different pieces of wood and it gives you this, this shape. Um, and I, I think that's just a really cool look. So um, Chickering, Chickering is, a, is a, one, of the, one of the higher quality pianos um, uh, in, in its day, made, made in Boston, I believe. And this, this particular piano, um, most of it is, uh, is a rebuild. And it's, and it's a, in just excellent condition as far as the instrument. As far as cosmetics, I would give this piano probably Borderline A, A plus. It is close to being an A plus. It is just absolutely beautiful, um, as far as as far as the um, the wood and the you know very very few dings or, or issues with it. Um, and then of course all the metal is all buffed up and polished. So it's like it's like it's in it's in brand new condition. The uh, the strings are new. See all these all these new strings on there, and then the dampers. Let's get a shot of those dampers, real quick. Those dampers are also also replaced. Um, the soundboard has been um, um, re kind of kind of refurbishing of the of the finish of the soundboard. The keys keys are all redone. Um, so uh, very well done with the keys, the white keys and the and the sharps. And then, as far as the uh, as all everything, pretty much what I'm talking about so far is is cosmetic, with a few exceptions. Um, as far as the instrument, the instrument also has has been a full refurbishing. Um, everything has been tightened, lubricated, reshaped the hammers, alignment of the hammers to the strings, full regulation um, to ensure that. Uh, that when you hit the key, it depresses the right distance. The distance from the hammers to the strings, all of that, is uh, exactly where where it's supposed to. So, uh, so the touch on this piano is is uh, essentially restored to as if we were in 1890 again. Let's uh, let's hear this piano. Very nice, rich, deep bass. strings.
first saw this piano when we finally finished it up we put it if it isn't clear we put a lot of work in this piano and everyone was kind of checking in on it wondering how it was going and when we finally finished it up and my wife first saw this piano she wanted this piano for our home yes I um, did <laughs> <laughs> and for our kids who are making for all that kids. noise this is, upstairs yeah, this is a pretty <laughs> special piano so uh, come come check it out <laughs> 